What's up, my brothers? Hope you all having an awesome day. A quick update here on net gas, gold, silver, and crude oil. Starting with natural gas. So before I start my video, let me show you what I said in my last video so that you can understand conditions and entries. And now, as you can see, we had a good break and close below this previous low. Now, at this point, the price has turned bearish. I'm not gonna look for buy trades for now. All I want to see a good pullback. So this is what I'm gonna expect from net gas. Just a pullback, and then I will only look for sell opportunities below 20 EMA and 50 EMA price can still push up and hit 50 EMA and then fall back down nice one so as expected price did pushed up from here and that is not an entry for me that is just a pullback and by the way if you're looking at these orders right here this is not an indicator that you find in the market this is something my student in MMTA course has made out of my strategy they learn in the full course and out of that he did some coding and and able to get this indicator but they can also give you some false signals but if you know all your rules then you know that you have a valid condition a good example of that here so this is an indicator that has been made out of the strategy they learn in the full course and which is what i'm going to talk about in my weekends video i'm going to upload one strategy on the weekend and there i will explain everything about how you can trade this strategy so just remove it for now and right here what do we have so now as expected price is pushing up towards 50 EMA and this is just a pullback in a downtrend. So that is expected like I mentioned yesterday. For now we can get a possible hit of 50 EMA and then a good rejection here at 50 EMA. So once the price hit 50 EMA I'll start to look for my sell trades only. Patience is a key. All we need is a patience. Once the price hit 50 EMA, one green and a nice red bearish engulfer. If you have the conditions like that, we have a very good sell signal and price will likely fall 180 ATR at least and then you can manage it to the support area. And I want to give you a heads up here as well because I don't upload videos on Thursday. If a price don't give you a signal here and it just pushes up, break above 50 EMA, in that case, we'll start to look for buy trades only and that will be a signal that price will continue to push up and keep on pushing up in a trend towards the next level of major resistance. So keep an eye here. If there is condition for sell, we're going to enter sell trade. If we have no sell condition, then we can also get a possible double bottom as I mentioned, the less aggressive way to enter the trade and all we need to see is a good condition so keep an eye here just look for sell trades i'm expecting a nice signal here once we have that we are good to go short and keep on taking shots with conditions only right exactly the same on uh, capital.com wait for the price to create one green one red candle and then we have a possible sell signal we can have a break above 50 ema and that is totally fine and then we can have a very next candle that can close back down at 50 ema so if you have that condition don't get panic if you have a close of one candle we can still get a close back down below 50 ema look for sell conditions for now next one we have gold gold is pushing down nicely and as you can see we still did not get a 50 percent retracement but 786 retracement sometimes act a very good resistance and that pushed the market down as well 786 retracement i mean so we might get a push down from here as well to 1.618 retracement and then get a possible pullback and a push down and if you're wondering if this is a valid sell signal it is not a valid sell signal according to my rules it invalidates one of my rules so that is a valid bearish engulfer i'm not selling on this candle that would be a valid signal but this is not a valid signal so for now i'm still bearish for gold it can likely push down to 1.618 retracement if you are still in the trade then 1.618 retracement will be a good point to exit your trades and then we can expect a possible pullback to 1.618 retracement again and then a possible continuation towards the downside we can again get a 50 percent retracement as well and limit order will be here if you are an aggressive trader and then price can push on so only looking for sell trades till we hit the next level of major support once we hit that we're going to look for bullish engulfers double bottom entry confirmation next one we have silver exactly the same as gold just plot your fibonacci tool from where the pullback started and right here we have a nice hit of 50 EMA if you're an aggressive trader that would be your limit order and you are already involved in the trade so for now I'm expecting at least one ATR from 50% retracement let's say you entered here ATR of this candle is 20 and 20 points will be something like this and that looks like that already hit the target that yes it hit the target of one ATR now if you are managing it you can manage it 
till 1.618 to investment and move your stop loss to break even or you can move further 180 r that can be your 20 points further down something like this and move your uh, stop loss below so that is how you can manage your trade if you wish to manage it for now we have a good condition good aggressive entry and now price is pushing down i'm still expecting a price to push down further towards the next level of support which i've mentioned in my yesterday's video in case you missed this zone it is 22.73 that goes down to 22.02 i've also mentioned the gold zones in my yesterday's video if you want to check that out you can check that out in my yesterday's video so price is now pushing down nicely i'm still expecting a good push down next one we have crude oil right we have a pullback up to crude oil looks like it is now in a process of creating double top patterns so what i'll do i'll prepare myself for condition i took a very nice double top trade today i'm going to show you that very shortly right so i have the zones ready I have this double top rejection zone ready if the price keeps on pushing up till tomorrow like i said i don't upload videos on friday and if we have a push up rejection here we have a very good sell signal and if the price won't give you any sort of signal it breaks above this high then it can still create a sell signal within this area of value or it can just continue need to push up in a trend so keep an eye here for condition rejection will be a nice sell signal right i just want to show you this trade i took a nice double top pattern and as you can see it took really long to for the price to hit this area of value and all i did is wait with patience till the price hit the zone and then i entered my trade with 1.4 to 1 risk to reward ratio and nice take profit hit here as well out of nice double top pattern i prepared myself with the rejection zone and i waited till the price hit the rejection zone and then we had a nice push down so all we need to see good condition that is how we trade and that is how you need to trade as well with conditions without guessing in the market so let's do one forex pair which is gbp usd i want to show you this condition right here the price has now pushed down back to the trend continuation zone i've sent these zones to my members a couple of weeks ago as well and as you can see the price just hit the level of major support and now creating a nice bullish engulfing pattern so once this candle is closed we have a very good signal that price will push up and i'll still go 1.4 to 1 risk to reward ratio you can go one to one and then manage it towards this level a price is now in the major area of value if you want to plot these zones there this is a number in blue you can plot these on your charts if you want aggressive trader that will be your entry if closed as a bullish engulfer a less aggressive trader will be a double bottom pattern if you want to wait for that so that's it for commodities and forex hope you're getting value out of my videos if yes do not forget to hit the like button for me it really helps me the youtube algorithm hit the subscribe button so that you can join money markets family so that we can all trade together and trade efficiently hope you trade green the rest of the week see you guys in the next video till then take care